Brittany ferries carry around 1 million vehicles every year, from vintage cars to 45-ton lorries, and fitting them all on board can be quite a lengthy and complex process. It's important that we leave virtually full, and there are lots of different sorts of vehicles to fit on, that they're put in the right place on board the ship, weighted in the proper way. A loading plan is drawn up before the ship arrives. The first officer and second most senior person on board goes through that plan and determines where the vehicles will go according to their height, length and weight. It's a bit like putting together a giant jigsaw puzzle. Loading is completely different on all the ships of the company and also on the same ship it's different if we are loading from England or if we are loading from France. With an average time in port of only one and a half hours, everything has to be carefully planned. As passengers and vehicles are disembarking, a whole army of people come on board to clean the ship and the cabins. Stores are replenished and food is prepared for the next sailing. On high-speed ferry services, time in port is even shorter. Turnaround is uh, 45 minutes for uh, 250 cars and uh, 850 passengers. The large vehicles and uh, especially uh, camping cars and uh, sometimes we, we got caravans also, they have to be loaded in reverse mode and it's not so simple uh, sometimes. Some vehicles and passengers who travel with us have special requirements. For example, disabled passengers have to be placed near the lifts with sufficient room for wheelchairs. On sailings to France, where pets remain in cars, they're placed in a ventilated area of the garage. Motorbikes and bicycles need to be secured in designated areas. Refrigerated lorries require easy access to power supplies to maintain correct temperatures. The car decks are under constant video surveillance for security purposes. One of the challenges for us, one of the reasons people get understandably upset when they're first to arrive and last on, is communication and as you'll see in this port here today uh, communication is with passengers in their cars is very difficult we have matrix signs up there we have tannoys but if you are sitting there listening to the radio with your windows up you ain't going to be listening to anybody when booking it's important to be clear about your vehicle details whilst we make every effort to accommodate last-minute changes Drivers who advise the wrong dimensions, or perhaps decide to add a trailer or roof box without telling us, risk being unable to board the ship. We like to say to our passengers waiting on the bus to, to be patient because uh, it's, the loading is very complicated. We will do our best to, to offer our passengers good disembarkation on the other side, opposite side of a crossing.